Hey gamers, today we're going to look at the Magic Kingdom game. Let's check it out. Okay, so I dropped the camera angle for this video just so you could see these nice little stand-ups they have. They, you place them on the board, and they all stand up and show various areas within the Magic Kingdom here. Of course, Cinderella's Palace, the Pirate Ship, Haunted Mansion, Space Mountain, all your classics. What you're going to do is you're going to get one of these little happy attendance little pieces here. You're going to place them right there where it says entrance, entrance, and then you're going to grab one of each color of these attraction cards. So I would grab one of each, and these are the destinations that I must visit. So for this trip, I have to go to the Carousel of Progress in Tomorrowland, Splash Mountain in Frontierland, yes, one of my favorite rides, Dumbo's Flying uh, Elephant Ride in Fantasyland, Pirates Their Caribbean in Adventureland, fun ride, and the Hall of Presidents at Liberty Square. Yay, lots of fun stuff to do there. So that's my trip. These are the rides and the attractions that I want to see, but I keep these hidden from the other players. And that's what I'm gonna be doing throughout the game. I'm gonna be going around this whole board here, trying to land on those spaces, and they even give you the numbers. If you can't see it on the board, all the spaces are numbered, so it'll be easy to find. And then I'm going to roll this die here and move X amount of points, whatever it has listed here. Now, you do see this here. You have a star on the one and the two. What does that mean? Whenever you roll a star, you also get event cards. Event cards are over here. Uh, there's a discard pile here, but you put these event cards up, and event cards can be good or bad. So, for instance, this one says, change in plans. Give one of your attraction cards to another player, and then take one of their cards in return. Oh, boy, that could help or hurt you. Uh, the next event card, maybe it's good. It says, uh, oh, yeah, send any player to get Mickey and Dallas autograph. What are autographs? Well, let's talk about that next. Um, they have these pieces that start off over here, and there's A's on the board here to show you where they go, but they're these nice, beautiful little computer pieces there of Mickey and Donald and you'll just place them out in the front and you don't have to land on them by exact count but if you do land on them that ends your turn and then if you do like let's say I landed on old Mickey well I, first off I'd pick up and get Mickey's autograph card which has his autograph on it and it also lets me cancel any event card in the deck so if it's bad or a player plays it on me I can use this card and cancel that event card now, when you do get an autograph from Mickey or Donald, what you're going to want to do is you're going to move this pewter piece anywhere on the board where there is an A, and there's A's listed everywhere, so I could put him here. Same thing with Donald. If he got picked, I could put him out there and wait for the next player. Now, you can't get an autograph from him until someone uses the card. When someone uses that card, it then goes back into its spot there on the board, and then someone else can get Donald's autograph and pick up the card again. Uh, another way you can move around the board is through the railroads. There are railroads stations here, oh, well, all around the board actually, uh, and you would, if you went onto one of the railroads, your next turn you would roll the railroad die. Uh, there's three successes and three fails. If you roll a success, you can go anywhere around uh, the railroad to the next railroad area. Uh, so it helps you get from one side of the board to the other if you want to move around faster. But of course you could roll a blank and be stuck there for your next turn. So uh, what happens is how a player wins is they can visit all five of their attractions uh, and then exit the park. Every, every time they reveal and they, uh, they get to a location they'll reveal it to show the other players that they have arrived there and they did visit it. But once they have all five revealed they have to be the first one of course to exit. The first player who exits and has visited all of their attractions wins the game. Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? Well, you know what? Me and the missus, we love going to Disney World. And uh, one of our anniversaries, I actually got her this game, and this is my way of telling her we were going to Disneyland uh, that year. So we played the Magic Kingdom game, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think this is 
is from Disneyland 2. I think that's Sleeping Beauty's castle, but I don't know. I'm not so sure. Anyway, uh, so what I think about the game, uh, it's okay. Basically, roll and moo. You're just trying to visit the vacation, you know, visit all the spots, and then that's it. There's nothing, not much to it. The pewter pieces are nice. The board looks really nice. And me and the missus have a little mini game afterwards where we compare our cards and we vote on who had the better trip, you know. Uh, so it's okay. If you're a crazy Disney fan who loves going to Disney World, yeah, maybe you can go ahead and pick it up. I don't know how much it's going for. I wouldn't pay that much for it. If you're a board game fan, this can be definitely avoidable. I don't even know if kids would really enjoy this game. Isn't that kind of weird to say? A Disney game that kids won't enjoy. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. Really nice pieces. But the gameplay is eh, so-so. However, me and the missus do enjoy playing the little mini game afterwards to see who had the best trip. Alright, folks. That is all the time I have for now. So until next time, game on!